every which way you go. It means every which way you go. Every way you go. Where you are, where I am, where it is, you know? Every which way you go. Happy Easter. It's a good job, buddy show. This thing is. There we are. <laughs> Happy Easter. So, last night I uploaded a, a video just trying to be funny, mocking one of my favorite channels, uh, one of my favorite uh, creators, my favorite YouTubers, KSI. And um, he had bought a Beerus, uh, a Beerus uh, diamond in, in, encrusted, whatever you call that, um, chain that was $500,000, okay? Beerus is a fictional character uh, from the series called Dragon Ball Z. Something I'm not even familiar with. My kids are. My 25-year-old is. Um, my 20-year-old is. They know about it. And but and I just caught that video last night. It's a little old, a couple months old maybe. And I was like, man, that dude spent half a million dollars. 500 million, actually 500 million pounds, which is, you know, you add another third to that in American dollars. There were 600,000 American dollars. And um, the chain is ridiculous looking here i'll show it to you i'll pull it up here and uh and, and he's got a video out from his new album the new video the new song is called beerus and he tweeted out ksi tweeted out that anyone who wants to use his um music in their videos feel free to you won't get copywritten so i thought that was really cool that's old school right there and he is old school he's been at this for over 10 years ksi you might remember him as the guy who fought Logan Paul. Uh, Logan Paul, KSI had a big fight. Um, they just blew YouTube up. And uh, real quick, I'll show you this chain. It's ridiculous, okay? Here's what it looks like up close. Let's see if we can get that in there. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's it. That thing is diamond encrusted. There's diamonds all over that thing. On the bottom it says Beerus in diamonds. It is ridiculous and uh, the music video is really, really cool too. I'll play a little bit of that since I'm allowed to because that's how cool KSI is. <laughs> um, and I'm like that, man. I'm down with the old school stuff, bro. Like being able to use people's stuff on YouTube, freely share it around. It helps promote and KSI is down with that. Uh, here's the actual video, and can't hear a damn thing. So that's his producer Randolph there. I'm gonna put it on what KSI's line is. It's like right around here. So you know. I thought, wow, that's, it looks kind of like a rabbit, you know, and it's Easter. So my mother-in-law has all these rabbits all over the house, and I just grabbed one and put a chain on it. And <laughs> hung it off me, and I was like, we got to... There he is. He's, it's so good, man. And I don't know really Beerus and all that stuff, but I just thought, what a good song. What a novel idea to let people use your music. And then I was just, we were wor working at some other things for the costume and putting it all together last night. And uh, both of us thought at the same time, you can't go blackface. You cannot do that. That would be, that would be horrible, you know. So, but I thought it would be cool to make a reference to it because we both thought of it at the same time. And, uh, and I, but I wanted to mask my face. Come on now, I'm 45 years old. I wasn't pulling this off with this grill. So I have like eight t-shirts and that was what I could use to cut, uh, you know, my mask out of. The other mask I have is actually a Black Panther mask and I really didn't want to go there either. So, um, all right, so we got down, we pulled in like two shirts that I could basically cut that really don't quite fit me anymore. And one's white and one's black. And I'd just like for y'all to sit for a second and think on 
what it would have been like to cut a hood out of a white shirt. Mm hmm. Yeah. Yes, exactly. So, and my wife and I had a real good laugh about that. Like, yeah, you can't come on with a white hood, dude. So, we used the black shirt, made it a mask. Immediately when I uploaded that video, well, when I turned it on this morning, I'm getting hates up and down, comments, emails that I am in blackface, that I'm racist. And I'm like, oh, God, I did it. I thought I was clear when I put the, the shoe polish in the video, like, hey, this is not blackface. This is a mask. You know, maybe it was a poor choice. And I'm going to ask everyone. And if, if the overwhelming decision is, yeah, this was blackface, I'm taking the video down. Because it ain't worth uh, people thinking I'm racist. I'm not racist. There's a chance maybe I did something that was racist. I didn't intend for it to be. But if it did, I'm going to take it down. So, but I'm going to ask people, I'm going to ask opinions. Um, tonight I think I'll go live and we'll talk about it. So watch my little comedy video there. If you feel like what I did was racist, vote for that. And if it comes down overwhelmingly that it, that it comes off racist, then I'm taking it down. In the meantime, I walk up here to my normal spot. You know, I'm about to do a little grocery shopping for, for Easter Den. And, you know, I'm thinking about that. I'm listening to the H3H3 podcast. And I don't have my glasses on. But I'm walking along, and a little dog here, my, uh, there's a community right behind us, right? And they have a playground. They have all its kids. And a lady came from that community. She was walking her dog down through here, and she's, like, yelling at her dog. So I walked over to see what that was all about. She's pulling on, pulling on. And this is what her dog was trying to put in his mouth, or trying to pick up. Let's get down here. I hope y'all see this. You know, I'm gonna, uh, I've got some um, wax paper over here in my bag. I'm gonna use it to pick it up. And I'm gonna get rid of it because I don't want any other dogs or kids or anybody to find that. But that's a real problem, okay? Whether or not what I did was you know, we use this glove. It was racist. <laughs> That's not a real problem. Not, not that. Because you got to nitpick that. Like, you know. This here, straight up real problem. There's no question. This is a used needle. It's broken open. I don't think the dog broke it open. I'm pretty sure it probably got ran over. But and I don't know if there's a needle on the end of it or not. It's covered. But that doesn't, I don't need to know that. It's broken open. So whatever was inside this needle uh, that might be dried up on that stem there is probably there. And that dog was putting it in his mouth. <clears throat> I told the lady that she might want to watch the monitor of the dog for, you know, a little bit. And there's also stray cats around here just everywhere, um, you know, that could have got into this too. It's uh, this could be a th this could be what the cats cats might have broke this thing open. The dog might have chewed on this. Another dog might have chewed on this. So, this is a real problem. Okay, people are still not only are they doing this, they don't have any care for other people who might come in contact with their disease. Right, this is a symptom of their disease littering away the thing that they had to have but then putting it in harm's way of another person who isn't addicted or doesn't want anything to do with this this is a symptom of problems in america this is a real issue and you know whether or not i'm racist is uh decided already i have beautiful nieces and a nephew who are mixed and I love them to death and you know you see me hanging out oh, this, with my family later you wouldn't think a thing about me being racist because we got we're all mixed up and, and we're proud of it um, that was meant to be fun funny and the real meat of it was that big old bunny rabbit hanging off of me that looked like you know this beerish chain that was it was kind of the fun of it and i really i i tried to just put it on reddit i don't think that that's going to work i'm new to reddit but I, i'm when i read the rules after i tried to post it i don't know that you're allowed to post videos so i might have screwed up on reddit already 
go figure. Um, but yeah, I just want to let y'all know for certain I'm not racist, but there could be a chance that what I did comes off as racist. If that's the overwhelming uh, <coughs> feeling here, I'm going to take it down. Um, but in the meantime, we got to watch out for our community. And we can't, you know, addicts across America have to be responsible in that way at least, please. You know, you got to do what you have to do. And until it is as easy to get help as it is to get high, I get it. But in the meantime, don't put your disease out there for other people to stumble into and harm them, please. Because that's a real problem. All right. Well, I'm going to get down with a little Easter celebration later with y'all. Please let me know. Let me know in the comments. Uh, it's the last video that I had there. Um, Easterus, happy Easterus, or East Beerus, I think is what I called it. Watch it. If it makes you feel some kind of way, please let me know. And uh, I think maybe even tonight, because it's Easter, we're going to unload all of the negative comments that I've gotten on every one of my videos in his, it's, it's, since it all started. Um, we're going to do a video tonight unloading all of those and also getting to whether or not I should delete my last video. Let's keep it clean, America. We only got one shot here, right? Let's keep it clean. Thanks for watching. It's a good job, buddy show. Happy Easter to you and yours.